Hello everybody, and welcome to the latest Worlds is Easy D livestream. Uh, today we are going to be resuming our journey through Warlock Domain, in which Pen the Adventurer is sent into the Warlock's Domain to rescue a couple of kidnapped princesses, three of them to be specific, and last week we managed to find the first one, Princess Rose, who didn't seem to care about us whatsoever, which is valid. Today, we might finish. I'm not sure if this will need a third part or not. If it does, it'll be a short one, I'm sure, but we shall see. Uh, before we do start, first, thank you, Sunfandel, for the resubscribe of 20 months now. That's wonderful. And, and for your... I'm blanking on the word. What's a good word here? For your commitment. Twitch has decided to give you, what, $2 off for September? I put a little thing on top. It's, hey, I will still get the full, the usual amount of subscription money if anybody subscribes, but you will pay less. It's, it's almost like profit is an arbitrary value, but that's besides the point. We're going to get right back into things here. Let me, here's a quick refresher here with this title screen and its music of what's going on exactly. Things are going good. I forgot about that a second time. Anyways, King's got some daughters. Daughters are now MIA. Except for Rose. We found Rose. And this warlock is causing some trouble. are doing it for the money, as always. We haven't even met Alex and Milton yet. There's, there's still plenty more characters to be introduced here. It's not just skeletons and cats. A nice little refresher there. And where we left off. No teller yet, just Pen. We're looking for Milton. Milton is our man. And Alex, but trust me, Milton is our guy. Uh, we've pretty much just been roaming these castle halls and just doing anything we can do, which is mostly harassing skeletons, threatening them with violence, and not getting anywhere with it. So now we got to start doing some cleanup because we've seen the bulk of what we can see at this point. We got to start putting things together. What are we carrying here? We've got a chalice, we've got a sword, and we have saved Rose. I missed the super obvious thing here. One of these torches is not like the other. And so if we pull on it, we reveal a secret passage. So we haven't quite seen everything in this castle just yet. Now this jerk of a skeleton is just harassing us before we're even in the room. Armory is oddly vacant. This can only mean one thing. Damon is preparing for war, and all his weapons have already been handed out to his soldiers. Yeah, I did do a quick... Oop. Well, goodbye that guy. I did do a quick little refresher, so I at least have... Some ideas of things that we did not do last time that we are good to do right now. So we will not be 
wandering aimlessly, which is kind of why I stopped where I stopped last time. Because I couldn't remember anything else. Uh, we've got some traps here, a few of which didn't fire, and we've got these things which are doing their best, I guess. The duplicator, unfortunately, can only do so much. Strangely, I mean, at this point we have a cool sword, but if we didn't have a cool sword, we still could not pick up any of this stuff. Which would have meant that our fight with Skeletor would have been entirely bow and arrow based, and... As you can see, we do not have many arrows. We do have a giant siege weapon. I love the little medieval weaponry designs. I think they're the kind of thing that normally I would have credited to Interactive Fantasies games, but this has definitely beaten them to the punch by a couple of years. Cool swords and axes and such. Locked doors. What about this thing? This thing isn't killing us. It's a rocket. Let's not kick it just yet. Can I... Sure, let's kick this. Oh. Oh, there we go. Whoop. Alright, we've successfully rammed the door by just pushing on something. Let's try laying our fireworks here. Perfect. This complex series of interactions is the only way inside. And if you don't figure out how to get that sword anytime soon, you desperately need all these arrows. You can pick them up one by one. Have you? You've, you've played this before, right, Anna? Only because I'm just thinking now, Jennifer Janowski has, like, the firework launcher puzzle, and this is kind of reminiscent of it. Is that coincidence or homage? So our secret passage isn't technically required. Also, there's this, which is really easy to miss. All of the skeletons that we had to fight here, except for two, just vanish entirely. One turns into a fake wall, and one looks like a fake wall, but it's actually a pile of bones. And we can take some gems. And arrows. And a bone. Why not? The skeleton has nothing left on him except his bones. He decides to take one of those two. So with that, we can start going back a bit here, get some more items here, and solve some more puzzles. Where is this? Yeah, there's the dragon. We're gonna... We're gonna not die to the dragon this time. Make sure we do this properly. First... There's this... Poor thing has a lance jammed in it. Let's take that out. Oh, or will we... do we refuse? Hmm. Oh, works. Or do we do it this way? Okay, as the tracking is already awake, now we're willing to yank on this thing. You might as well try to get on its good side. You have both of your arms around the heavy lance, and with a mighty tug, manage to pull it free. There we go. And yet another weapon that we can't take. Too heavy. And we don't have a horse. And what good is a lance without a horse? Alright, now that the dragon is awake, and we have helped it, now we will take this toy. And it makes a brief grunt when you pull out the toy, but because you have done it favor by removing the lance, it does you a favor by not burning you down on the spot. With a chew toy in your backpack, and the dragon returns to a more peaceful slumber. Wonderful. So now we're friends with the dragon. Who really needs a bigger room. They seem very cooped up in there. Okay, and we will now proceed to the kitchen, which I believe is this one? Yes. 
Now last time we opened the refrigerator door and the cold air woke up a hellhound and the hellhound killed us. As they do. But this time we have a bone. So let's give the dog the bone. Give the hellhound the skeleton bone you borrowed from that overenthusiastic guard. Rather surprisingly, the hellhound licks your hand and then hops off to find a place to bury the bone. See ya. Now we can open the refrigerator. The magical device. Alright, what's inside? What do you think is in the warlock's fridge? You open the refrigerator, most of the food is meat. But what do you expect from a bunch of monsters and a warlock? There's some empty boxes, though. You pick one up. It's made of an odd material, which is neither wood, nor ceramic, nor stone, nor metal. It also appears to be perfectly airtight. You put it in your backpack before closing the refrigerator again. That is officially the best description of Tupperware you will ever get. And, of course, now that we have the Tupperware... We can go back here. What's nice about this game is how you have all these puzzles, but they there's generally something you can do. You can really go about this game in quite a lot of different ways. We'll still do everything eventually, but there's a lot of a lot of things open right from the start. And then once you get to the point where you start exhausting things. Then it kind of just flies by once you, as long as you can figure out what you should be doing. Which in this case is the weird glass glow from last time with the poison gas that was being used to hold woman as she was named hostage. We'll just put it in our box. Shove the globe into your airtight box. You slam the lid and sh lid shut and lock the box just as you hear the sound of breaking glass inside. No mist escapes from the box and you give a sigh of relief. You gently place the box in your backpack. A poison gas grenade might come in handy sometime soon. Thanks, pal. Are you Princess Daisy? Ah, hardly. I'm one of the castle guards. Princess Rose hauled us up here to get her sister back, but we got ambushed by Damon's guards. Let's see here. Where are the other guards? I mean, we did rescue them, but that's not necessarily the case at this point. Most of them are probably in the dungeons right now. A few like me were probably able to escape. But by now they're either been rounded up by the castle guards or killed by one of the booby traps. Okay. Princesses, what do you know? I'm not sure. When I got locked in here, I overheard the guards saying that Damon is going to marry Princess Daisy on top of the main tower at midnight. Someone's gotta stop him! Not any other adventurers? Some guy in paladin's armor almost busted through the door and would have killed us both. But fortunately he didn't seem strong enough to actually break the door down. And all the pounding didn't trigger the booby trap. Although the globe did rock back and forth a bit. He said he'd be back, but I could have sworn I heard him falling down the stairs after he left. That's world building. That's character development. How did you get here? When we got ambushed by Damon's forces, I grabbed Princess Lily and made a break for it. But we got caught by the guards, and I got stuck in here, wired to the globe trap. Either they really wanted to make sure I didn't escape, or they wanted to use me as bait to catch anyone else who stormed the castle. Can you tell me? I didn't exactly have time to admire the furniture, if you know what I mean. Okay. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, wait a sec, she's got something. Managed to snatch this from one of the guards while he wasn't looking. It might come in handy. What do we got? Ooh! A purple key. Also, now we can successfully break down this door without killing ourselves. Always a plus. Now the question is, where was there a purple door? Not here. But... This is where the drunken orcs playing poker and drinking beer are. And last time... Oh yeah, that's right, the mailbox at the start. Last time we walked on in and... That went about as well as you would have expected. But now we have a Tupperware container full of poison gas, so why not? Throw your box of poison gas into the room. Crossing your fingers, you hurl the box of poison gas into the room, and quickly slam the door shut. Uh, 
That's a lot of poison gas. You hear screams of pain as the orcs inhale the deadly gas. Finally, you hear the sound of six bodies hitting the floor. You wait a few minutes for the gas to disperse out the windows, then open the door to the room. There we go. Good as new. And we get to take their money. Now we win the poker game. Well, now we're loaded, actually. Let's actually open that mailbox before we keep going. Just because we, it might save us some backtracking. I don't quite recall. Now that's about the only downside to this game is these are... I mean, they're, they're full-size boards, so it's a long walk when you have to run across a couple of these. Okay. Hello. The infamous mailbox lock. You open Damon's mailbox. Inside is a letter written on creamy vellum and fine, delicate handwriting. You are rather surprised to find it contains the royal seal, indicating it came from a member of the royal family or someone with easy access to their stationery. The letter is written in a strange runic-like language which you are unable to understand. You pocket the letter anyway. And that's why Damon locked his mailbox. Because apparently people just keep stealing from it. Alright, let's head upstairs now. Once we get there, that is. Stairs to the orc room. I hope we can open the store, actually. I didn't even check. Oh, good. It swings open easily. You locked your mailbox. How do you put mail into it? Yeah, there, maybe there's a slot. Welcome to the pentagram room. I love this visual effect. This looks fantastic. As you enter this room, you can't help but notice the strange man dressed in a black cloak and hood, standing in the middle of a mystic symbol. Arcane energy crackles around him as he performs some uncomprehendable spell. Although he does seem to be concentrating hard, he notices your presence. Don't come any closer, child, or else I will be forced to incinerate you. Well... It's easy, T. It's, it's a pentagram in spirit. So we've got an empty pedestal here. We've got all sorts of arcane artifacts. A silver bell with runes. A metal ball inside the bell is carved in the shape of a skull. That's sick as hell. Let's go. That's ours now. Touch the bell and receive an electric shock from the energies it is producing for the ritual. Maybe not. But it didn't kill us, which is the refreshing change of pace. Oh, and we can just cross. Hello. Oh, look, it's a dark mage named Dark Mage. Oh, we can just straight up talk to this guy, huh? Are you Damon? Of course not. I am a humble dark mage in service to the master. Why? What business do you have with Master Damon? I'm here to rescue the princesses. Oh, really? Damon isn't going to like that at all. He likes the princesses where they are right now. Where is that? Don't think that I'm going to tell you. I'm not a fool. What are you doing? Yes, please. I am performing a ritual of binding. Apparently Master Damon has a guest in this tower who is rather skilled in the arcane arts. It's my duty to ensure that his magic is sealed away so that he cannot use it should he choose to be rude and leave before the wedding. Tell me what a wedding is. Yes, the master is going to marry Princess Daisy at midnight, and he wants to make sure that none of his guests decide to leave before then. Oh, sorry. What are you doing? Ritual of binding. Yes, it is a very delicate ritual, especially given the apparent power of the one I am trying to seal. His energy is more powerful than any I have ever seen. It even rivals and perhaps surpasses that of the master. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought that was going back to the original choices. 
Fortunately, the six arcane artifacts surrounding me give me the power to seal him away. I'm using so much concentrated magical power, not even a member of the demon tribe could escape from this tower. What are these artifacts, anyway? Six artifacts are all unholy objects. Sword of Destruction, Necronomicon, Mirror of Madness, the Bell of Yeezus, Jewel of Terror, and the Candle of Midnight. Each one is priceless beyond value. If you're a dark mage, that is. See ya. It's a magnificent ruby red jewel, the size of your head. While the surface reflects the light, you almost swear that someone was standing beside your reflection in its surface. Can we take this? I think we're just gonna get shocked a bunch. Surely one of these will kill us. Lord let us take it. Candle of black wax. Got some rooms. Purple flame. What's this? Ah, the mirror. When you stare into its reflection, you get a strange sensation of seeing things differently than when you look at them with your own two eyes. I really appreciate the detail here, because this could have just been like six magic gems. And no no description, no nothing. None of it's necessary. But no, he's got six unique artifacts and and a little bit about each one. Economicon, we know about that. And the cool sword. Oh, there we go. Okay, as you reach for the blade, you feel a shock course through your hand a few inches from the blade. Apparently all the ritual objects are giving off too much energy to be handled. This one kills us. And I like that the red and blue flicker so fast that it looks purple. Alright, let's not die. Uh, no, we started them that way. Oh, actually, have these all been hurting us? Oh, well. Oh, no. Crackling energy bolts or stars. Oh, Lord. No, I'm, I'm horribly injured. I should not have been picking up every magical artifact I came across. That was a bad idea. Words to live by indeed. Okay, so in that case, what else we got? We got the letter? Oh yeah, and Chewy, the chew toy. So who would want a chew toy? And what good is this letter? Well, if you were here for last week, we did visit the, the library of the castle. And that may have had some relevant books. Uh, shoot, how do you get to the library? The library is locked off. Oh yeah, through the kitchen, of course. We take the secret passage in the cabinet that we found. There we go. And we hope that we don't get caught by the ghost thing. I don't remember what, what kind of supernatural name it was given. Ah, here we go. This is actually the book that I wanted, and not just the book that I wanted to hide behind. Book on translating foreign languages. You take out the letter you took from the mailbox, the same language. You manage to translate the basic gist of the note. It reads, To my dearest love, I cannot wait to see you again. Though we have only known each other the short time, I feel we have grown so close that it pains me for us to be apart. I know it is difficult for us to see each other but I beg of you not to do anything rash. I hope this letter reaches you before you may take a foolish action which we may all regret. Seems the signature was torn off while you were running away, running around with a letter in your pocket. You really should have taken better care of it. Uh-oh. The letter is quite odd. Were it addressed to a love-struck teenager, you would not be surprised, but this letter was for Warlock Damon himself. Surely it cannot be what it seems. A code, that's it. Someone from the palace must be giving Damon inside information. It must be the plans for an upcoming invasion. The writer is probably urging Damon to withhold his assault until the traitor can weaken the palace defenses from within. Damon must be playing on conquering Playana by force. He must be stopped. Pen is 
reading quite a bit into this. Also, hey, another relevant book. If a non-magical item is introduced to a magical ritual, there's a chance the ritual will be disrupted without harm coming to anyone other than those performing the ritual. However, the non-magical artifact must be strong enough to withstand the awesome forces of magic which would be forced upon it. I gotta get this guy out of my hair. There we go. Go down here. I want... There we go. That's a good spot for you. I can't actually leave from here though, can I? No. Shoot. Okay, uh, what do we do to open this bookshelf again? We just touch. Okay, good. We're, we're saved. We're not saved. That's. Yeah, so this is the this is the issue I mentioned last time. It's very easy to get this guy stuck here, and now we can't get to the library without cheating. Which is what we're just gonna do instead of just running around a bunch. But that is unfortunate. Okay. So... We translated the letter. We've got our chew toy. Let's do it this way. I think we should be good to interrupt the ritual. Although then again, perhaps a chew toy isn't exactly strong enough. Thank you for the resub, Will. Also 20 months. Twenty months, to be precise. Alright, let's see. Can I... no? Don't let me. Hmm. Hmm. Am I misremembering? I swore you used the chew toy on that. We can bug this guy some more. Or the ritual. What's with that empty pedestal? Oh, there we go. Did he not ask us that last time? Maybe I just skipped over it. The empty pedestal represents chaos, the uncertainty factor. As long as it is empty, the ritual pro pro bleh, the ritual will proceed without incident. If an evil artifact were to be placed there, the resulting power surge would be so great it would vaporize everything in a five-mile radius. If an artifact of good were to be placed there, however, the ritual would cancel itself out but the resulting feedback would probably kill whoever was performing the ritual, as well as anyone in the immediate area. If a neutral object were to be placed there, the results would be uncertain. Don't mess with it. This is a very delicate ritual. I don't think you should be telling us all of this. Well, I'll be going now to the pedestal. And as you can see by the gaps, there's actually quite a lot of things you can try here. Why not? Let's try an arrow. Well, that killed us. The arrow, upon being placed on the pedestal, begins to glow. Suddenly, it shoots up into the air and lands on your foot. This is rather painful. And in my case, completely fatal. Gem. Nothing. Our cool sword. Sword is an artifact of good, forged by ancient elves to fight evil. Mystic energy clashes with that of the evil artifacts. The holy energy magnified by the chaos pedestal succeeds in neutralizing the evil and stopping the ritual. Unfortunately, the resulting feedback causes the air pressure to rise by a hundred times in the space of half a second. This proves to be fatal for everyone in the room. Well, the ritual has been stopped.
Oh, the chalice. Is it an evil chalice? I think it's an evil chalice. No, it's a good chalice. It was used to defeat one of the prime evils during the Demon Wars, of course. The resulting surge of positive energy causes the six evil artifacts to explode. The Dark Mage's brain erupts from his skull. Wow. Here's a catch, however. Battle is an amplifier for holy energy. It normally is powered by another artifact, a crystal orb. However, since you do not possess the orb, the chalice draws this energy from the next nearest available source of energy. You. You would fear the Dark Mage, but the cost is your own life. Okay, so much for that. And then, as I had recalled, you place the Chew Toy on the Chaos Pedestal. The Chew Toy is a perfectly non-magical artifact, something which the Ritual of Binding was never designed to interact with. Mystical energy from the Ritual attempts to readjust to the new pathway you have formed, but since no new magical energy is being introduced in the circle, the Ritual is confused. Power is being spent for seven artifacts, but only six artifacts are actually producing magical energy. I love how in-depth this gets. Ritual compensates by draining energy from the only other source of magic in the room, the Dark Mage. Goodbye, Dark Mage. The Dark Mage explodes in a surge of arcane energy. Without anyone to control it, the huge magical energy in the room surges towards the pedestals, which explode, vaporizing their contents. You have successfully stopped the Ritual of Binding, and made a huge mess to boot. Good job. It's very satisfying. And quite violent. We have made a huge mess. And our reward... Lions. Lions who are immune to our arrows. They're protected by Damon's Dark Magic, you'll need a magic weapon to fight them. Can I use my sword? I really hope. Hmm, well, probably not with 10 health I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat for health. I should not have... I should not have picked up every artifact I came across. There we go. Dang, they're aggressive. Slicing lions in half. With a cool sword. There we go. It's our new best friend. Thanks, pal. I'm Milton, a humble traveling scholar who at times finds it necessary to dabble in the arts of adventuring in order to continue financing my studies. I'm also something of an amateur magician. I came here to rescue the lost princesses and claim the cash prize of 10,000 gems. But I guess I got in a little over my head. Damon's goons threw me in here, and I've been here since. All right. Milton. Where are the princesses, Milton? Well, I haven't met any of them personally, but I'm pretty sure where they are. Princess Rose is probably being held in the dungeons. Damon didn't take too kindly to her sacking the castle. Princess Lily, I think, is being held in the West Tower, and Princess Daisy is most definitely in the Main Tower. She's going to be forced to marry Damon at midnight. Once that happens, Damon will be a member of the royal family and the heir apparent to the throne. See, this is how it works. He will have conquered the kingdom without sending out a single soldier. You know, missed opportunity for the other person to not be named Bradley. That would have been good. Let's see, has this guy seen the other guy? Alex, yeah. Besides yourself, the only other adventurer I've seen is Alex, the Knight Paladin. He's young, brash, and a delusional idiot who probably runs around thinking that windmills are actually giants in the skies. He won't be much help to you or the missing princesses. All right. More info, more info. Now that you mention it, I think I know of a way to neutralize the magical field protecting the central tower. Meet me in the main hall, I'll tell you about it there. Let's see. How about this ritual of binding we've heard so much about? If I remember my magic schooling correctly, that is a ritual used to control dangerous magical forces such as elementals or even demons. The more powerful the force, the more energy the ritual requires. But there are no powerful forces here in this tower, just me. And although I do know a little magic, I'm hardly an archmage. Can you help me? Sure. Right now I'll heal your wounds for you. There we go. Okay. 
There, all better. I have, to, I have to be going now. I'll meet you in the main hall of this castle, right where the entrance is. I'll be able to help you further there. And then he teleports away. As wizards are known to do. Alright. So we have cleaned out the East Tower now, though. And also the Eastern Basement. And I think the Eastern Rooms. We are making some steady progress. What are our numbers looking like, actually? A little more than half. No, I mean, with all the backtracking and stuff, that's not a very good metric, but... But we are feeling great. And we... Might actually be able to do some more stuff now. Let's see. Let's... Meet Milton. Hopefully that skeleton... That's up here. Oh, wait, is that Milton? That's Milton. Hello, Milton. Well, hello there! Still looking for the princesses? And we can kind of repeat the usual stuff. Oh, yeah. Way of getting in the main tower. Listen carefully. The main tower is protected by a magical force field created by Damon himself. Only Damon may cause the force field to open, and he probably isn't going to let you interrupt his wedding. However, it is possible to disrupt the force field. The magic of equal or greater power is required. I do not have such magic, but I know where you may find it. I sense an enormous energy beneath this castle. It most probably emanates from the old catacombs on which this castle was built on. Find the source of that energy, and you will find the power you need to face Damon on his own terms. Interest's catacombs should be in the west wing near the stairwell. However, the entrance is designed so that two people are required to enter the catacombs. One to hold the entrance open, and the other to go in. I'll help you enter the catacombs, but I must stay behind to ensure that the entrance does not close. I will meet you in the West Wing. I've heard that before. Anything else? Oh, oh, okay. We got this cool chalice, and we can just trade this gold treasure for a measly key. Why do you want it, actually? We already traded, like, a crystal skull to a skeleton for nefarious purposes. As a traveling scholar, I am interested in such artifacts. Although they are not extremely valuable, they do have a good deal of historic value. I'm always saying this. Okay. Let's just make the trade. Here, take this key. I'm glad I could help you in this small way. Well... Okay, the good news is, that's the key to the West Tower. Which is already where we're heading for the catacombs anyway. Thank you, Milton. So actually, I don't remember if I showed this off last time, but... You can just keep touching this, so you don't actually need to get Milton for this. Obviously it's not intended, but you know, if you're doing your Warlock Domain speedrun and want to head to the Catacombs right away, you can do that. You're not alone in the darkness of the Catacombs. Scavengers who have lived here for generations, feeding off of the dead stored here, lurch towards you as they smell fresh, living flesh. Now it's just lions and tigers. And they are pretty aggressive. They, they kind of really beeline for me there. Oh, I like that this, this, yeah, this game has, it still has just lions and tigers in it. Because they work for this part, and that's all you need. Not everything has to be an object. Anyways, here's a giant underground ziggurat, I believe. With horrifying statues everywhere. Does one of these have something? No. This game is definitely the kind of game that will get you to try touching every single object you see. Hello, it's a cooler sword. When you enter the ancient ruins, you are amazed to find that there is no floor save for the small platform you are standing on. The entire building is a massive pit, stretching down miles beneath the surface of the planet.
And in front of you stands the most amazing thing you've ever seen. It's a magnificent sword, almost tangibly radiating magical energy. Truly, with this weapon, nothing can stand in your way. Cool sword. I'm gonna keep a safe here, just in case. Before you stands the magical sword, Darkbane. A weapon forged against evil long ago by a civilization long gone. Also, yeah, that was definitely starting off as like a Final Fantasy theme. With it, you can conceivably slay a prime evil in caps, let alone a mere warlock like Daemon. A message is written on a slab next to the blade in Ancient Runic. You cannot understand most of it, but you can make out something about sealing and danger. Yoink. When you remove the sword from the platform, you feel a rumbling beneath your feet, as though some ancient and titanic force were awakening from a long slumber. You feel a tangible sensation of pure evil in the air, and a wasp-like buzzing sound fills the room, echoing across the vast expanses of the pit. Two huge glowing red eyes appear before you, and you find a voice drill itself into your skull. Mortal, you have released me from my long imprisonments. Before you stands the largest entity you've ever seen in your life. It towers the dark pit, its body disappearing into the bottomless depths below. The sensation of evil now pervades the entire chamber, and the wasp-like buzzing has risen to a painful level. The demon theme. I could slay you without a thought. A loud, booming voice echoes on the confines of your minds. But I will not. For this favor you have done me, I will offer you a wish. Whatever you desire, in all the kingdoms of the world, shall be yours. You have but to ask. I don't have to give you my soul or anything like that, right? I know, we're not getting this... The only problem with this dialogue is it's obscuring our vision of this character. Of course not. I merely wish to repay your favor to me with a favor to you. And sure enough, we got... Quite a lot of options here. I wish Damon were dead, I wish I ruled the world, I wish I had the princesses, I wish I wish I was a fish, I wish I, I was dead. I wish you'd go back in that pit where you belong, I wish for a billion wishes, I wish everybody could just get along. Life, universe, and everything, I wish to be a god, or just leave me alone. There's a lot here, and we're not going to actually do this all right now, because there's far more to these than just like instant game overs that you would expect but well okay yes i guess we can wish and wish and be a fish why not very well you are now a fish and you are you flop around on the floor while gasping for air before the demon teleports you to the nearest lake you got your wish for your career as an adventurer is now effectively over there we go i don't get a good look at this guy he has giant shoulders. Alright, let's... Sift through this again a bit. Okay. The one that I do want to show off right away... ...is the pretty sensible one. I wish I had the princesses with me. I mean, that's what we're here for. We need the princesses, we will receive the princesses. Very well. I has removed the princesses from Castle Shadow and placed them outside. Step into the portal to find them. And a lot of music here, too. You appear in the road to town with the three princesses next to you. You succeed in saving the princesses. Rose pats you on the back for a job well done, and Lily hugs you and blushes, but Daisy seems angry at you for some reason. Suddenly, you hear a wasp-like buzzing and cover your ears in pain. The princesses are rolling on the ground, hissing! Suddenly, the backs of their clothes rip apart as leathery bat wings unfold from their backs. Fangs grow from their mouths, and their eyes begin to glow blood red. Soon, the buzzing subsides, and the princesses are crawling towards you, a horrible, blind, dreadful staring in their eyes. Their faces are flushed. You hear the demon's mocking voice in your head. I hope you enjoy my gift to you. I've made a few changes in the princesses. A little extra something for freeing me. The next segment of your life is fairly short and confused. But you are sure the last thing you notice is one of the following. A. 
Even his horrible mocking laugh as it gloats and prepares world domination. B. The princess is killing you in an interesting, not entirely unpleasant, arguably enjoyable, but nonetheless fatal way. C. Milton's image appearing before your eyes and saying, Now look what you've done, you daft fool! Then, pausing a few seconds and shaking his head. So, not quite the good ending. Well, apparently arguably enjoyable, so who can really say? But again, like, the, the commitment to the detail here, that a lot of these options do give you endings, that with none of which, unsurprisingly, are all that great, but... Okay, let's try and do this right. Now here's the thing, what the heck is it I'm actually supposed to say here? I don't honestly remember. I can deduce it. I just, do I just tell him to buzz off? That might be it. Very well, I shall consider us to be even. But remember, we shall meet again. Okay, I guess that works. Stone slab falls from the side of the ziggurat. On is a message in runic. It's difficult, but you manage to translate it. We do not know where the evil came from. Some say that it emanated from the blackest depths of hell. Others say it arrived from the cold darkness of space. We did not even know it had come. One day a light appeared in the sky and vanished near the royal palace, but nothing seemed to come of that incident and it was quickly forgotten. Sometime afterwards, King Warren began to change. Before we knew it, we were waging war with Plesta, a country we previously had no quarrel with. In the space of a few weeks, Plesta fell to us. Soon our nation began to engulf more and more countries until we were a great empire. But we were not a happy people. The government which had previously supported us had become oppressive, power-hungry, cruel, and sadistic. We watched as our fellow men and women began to change before our eyes. They were becoming demons, not in body, but in soul. Yeah, I know the feeling. A few countries resisted us, but they were crushed mercilessly. Some of our people suspected what was truly happening, but they were powerless to stop King Warren's regime. Soon a great civil war split our country in two. Brother fought against brother, father against son, husband against wife, on and on. In time, only six of us remained who were in our rightful minds. Struggling through great hardships, we eventually slayed the tyrant Warren. This should have been the end of it all, but the evil within our people did not depart. Using the Sword of Darkness' as bane, we fought to a standstill the evil which had taken control of our people. We cast the abomination into the endless pit and sealed it away with the Holy Sword. But ours was a hollow victory. Our people had fought themselves to extinction. We ourselves fled to other countries and told the story of our hardships. An army from Mallow is coming to seal away the ruins in the endless pit and will erect a barrier atop it all to keep the evil in check for eternity. But should their precautions fail, and should human feet once more grace the stones of our fallen cities, we have left this warning. Beware the evil which is in this place, for it has brought about the death of our entire civilization. No esteemed deeds are commemorated here. Davidus Pharmaca, Sarah Leoion, Brent Ockel, Zeldiosis, Amanda Finn, Magus Saffer. Okay. So, anyways, we just took that sword and freed that demon. So, do be aware of that. But on the bright side, <clears throat> excuse me, on the bright side, we'll have a new move in our next RPG battle. Hey, Milton, guess what I just did? Well, you got the sword? Good. So I can let go of this thing now. As soon as the statue is released, doorway slams shut. There's just one problem. What? You didn't touch anything you weren't supposed to, did you? Well, you see. Tell Milton about the sword, the demon, and the writing on the tablet. 
You did what? You fool. You idiot. You stupid, stupid son of a... Hey, don't forget which of us is holding a magical sword, buddy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. But do you realize what you've just done? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who told me to go down there. I told you that I sensed a powerful energy down there. I never said anything about removing anything, did I? I thought you were just going to investigate. Hey, a moment ago you were telling me what a great job I did on retrieving the sword. Yes, well, I didn't know you freed a demon. You know how hard it is to get rid of one of those things? And this one sounds like it's got quite a bit of experience in creating havoc. Look, I don't have time to worry about this now. I've got to rescue the princesses. Very well, I'll leave it up to you. Don't disappoint me, kid. I would hate to have to be scraping your carcass off the wall. What a weirdo. Alright, bye, Milton. But yeah, anyways, that's... We can worry about that later. We've got uh, more princesses to find. Passages next to passages. I can finally figure out what the deal is with this weird board. As soon as you step into the room, the walls begin to move. You have a very bad feeling about this. This is not surprising whatsoever. It's locked. Oh no, when shot with an arrow, the spike moves faster. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it all works out. Now we get to meet our other new friend, Alex. This young man is dressed in plate mail armor, size too large for him, holding a cardboard shield. I mean, to be fair, ours is actually just a table. And is waving a longsword around in a way that suggests that he has no idea how to use it. Who mayst thou be, knave? Be thee one of the warlock servants? Avant, foul creature of the abyss! And if we want, we can just murder him and... But no, no thank you, actually. Easy. I'm an adventurer like you. I'm here to save the princesses. Very well. Follow me and speak not. Step where I step, or there shall be dire consequences for the both of us, Sir Edgar. Uh, my name is Pen. Okay. I just wanted to see what the dire consequences were. They seem to just be getting locked in. There might be more dialogue if you actually do that early, before he's out, but... Why can't I go on from here? I suggest that I also pause for thought, for there may be all manner of traps ahead. So these, I think, are supposed to be, like, saws? No, they're moving walls. Okay. For some reason, I remembered them, like, not looking like what they were supposed to be. This is what moving walls look like. Ah! Oh! Well, well. Crushed to a pulp, and then crushed again. Oh, Lord, okay. They're... They're very mean walls. They will crush you even when you're in the little middle part here, which doesn't seem like a spot that you should be getting crushed in. So you do have to do the little dance like this and go the long way around. Whoa. And unfortunately, the other moving wall caused the other moving wall. I think it's a lot more difficult than it has to be. There we go, much better. And up the stairs we go. And our buddies are here. Not a fan of this guy. Oh, okay. They're just starting the fight and hurting me, even without any kind of dialogue or anything. 
This foul beast guards the way into the upper reaches. We must slay it, or be slain ourselves. Come now, noble squire Julian. Once more, into the breach. Hello there, I see you've put my gift to good use. It will mean nothing if you can't get it past this overgrown critter. So as a bonus for that lovely chalice you gave me, I'm offering you this staff. You should shoot small fireballs, saving you the trouble of having to use your arrows. Take care, I must be going now, bye. I guess we got a kind of clunky boss fight, but... I don't know if I should be shooting the arms or going for the eye or what. Can't get in close, there's water. It's a good effort. Oh, there we go. Okay. We broke one piece. Maybe we did. I, don't th I mean, the eye would make the most sense, but. There's invisible walls blocking the eye. I can't shoot the eye. So surely it's gotta be... These parts. And good job realizing that the, the arrow system this game uses would completely fall apart if you had to use them here. Well, there we go, it's flashing now. Is it always flashing? Again, I have no idea if I'm being effective here or not. I can only take so much of this music. Please, I don't know if this is working or not. Okay, it worked. Victory is ours, my loyal squire. Come, we must make haste to the apex. The fair princess awaits. Music's just gonna keep on restarting, huh? I need a little break from that, goodness. The music in this game isn't bad. And most of it's from Final Fantasy anyway. But it is just if it goes on for more than like 30 seconds and it just loops like that and it's not a particularly long song. It's just no thank you. Okay, though. Whoa. Dang. Oh, okay. I, I thought Alex, like, did something all by himself. Nope, now we got a buddy, though. And thanks to our cool sword, we can do Light of Truth. Come, loyal squire. Let us slay this foul sorcerer and rescue the fair princess. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. Fools, I am a Khan of the evil knight shall turn you both to dust. Alex stabs him. Okay, light of Truth. That's... Always start with Light of Truth. You can only use it once. But that's our cool new sword ability. And now we will just continue twirling our sword until we're victorious. ERPGs are a nice feature, but they are not exactly necessary. Also, he has more health than his health bar would indicate. Which kind of changes the dynamic of things, because you never have any idea if you're, like, about to win or not. It makes it much more of a surprise. Okay, I need a PC speaker break, I'm sorry. We just can keep on twirling. We can do a fight for good measure. That's like five. Burning hands, like... Unfortunately, you really do just get to ignore all of this. Alright, hopefully this is the last hit. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Okay. The con is defeated. Thou has done well, Thou has done well Squire Boots. Thy swordplay is truly superior. Thou it does not match mine, of course. Now let us save the fair princess from her foul captivity. Ah, well, this is definitely supposed to be Butts. My name is Pen, 
Arg, arg, arg. Very well, Squire Pen. Arg, 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 arg. Good joke. Oh, and I crit after he's dead. Yeah, so in high school, the, like, band teacher, was his last name was spelled B-U-T-Z. I'm supposed to move left. And he did not take too kindly if you pronounced it butts. As opposed to butts. Oh, hello. Who are you? I am Alex, the Knight Paladin, and this is my loyal squire. Those words didn't work. My loyal squire, Cecil. I ain't your squire, and my name is Penn. So at least Lily gets, like, a nice room. They put Rose in the dungeon. It's got an ornate full-length mirror. A giant bed. Oh, hello there. And we can crush Alex with a nearby table. He's unconscious, perhaps due to the large, heavy wooden table that he's currently buried under. Very good. Oh dear, was that really necessary? That guy was totally off his rocker. He had it coming. Don't worry, he'll live. Who are you, anyway? My name's Penn, not Cecil. I'm here to rescue you. And hey! It's Rose. Hey, Lily, you okay? Sure, Rose. This is actually a pretty nice place once you get used to it. Hey, how come you get a fancy bedroom while I get thrown into a stinky cell? Excuse me, but I'm supposed to be rescuing the two of you? Can it, sword boy? Come on, Lily. We're gonna save Daisy before she gets married to that Damon creep. Oh, okay. I'll teleport us to the main tower. Thanks for helping us, Mr. Penn. You're well. Wait a minute, stop! Where do you think you're going? I love that ZZT teleport effect that so many people use. It's so convenient. Hey, wait a minute. How am I supposed to prove that I rescued you if you go running off like that? Arg! The frustration. But now we got two princesses. Oh no. No thank you, room. We do not need the music. Okay, well, I wish they short-range teleported us, because we gotta go through the Hall of Walls again. There we go. Can we just go through this door now? Yep. Move the iron supports and kick the wooden plane panel to splinters. We're so strong. And we're also almost dead again, I notice. I don't know what happened there. Is Milton still around to heal us? Because that might be helpful. What do we got? We got... Okay, yeah, at this point... We got Darkbane, Regular Sword, Rose and Lily. We met Milton, and we've translated our letter. I believe we should be heading in for the, the finale here. Let's see, can you heal us, Milton? Yeah, thank you, Milton. And with the power of our really cool sword, <clears throat> We can dissolve the force field. One tile at a time. And now we get to meet Damon. <clears throat> Properly, as opposed to a scary face with glowing eyes. <clears throat> ah, you again. I thought you might make it this far. Tell me, adventurer, why are you really pursuing the princesses? I want to be a hero, need the money, and nothing to say. I mean, it seemed pretty clear that we were going for the money. So let's just go for the money. You're in this merely for the money? Well, at least you are honest. Most adventurers give themselves airs, saying that they're really in it for honor or glory or the good of mankind. 
But in the end, money is what for them decides what is right and what is wrong. Hero, listen to me well. I offer you a deal. I shall give you 20,000 gems to depart from this kingdom and never return. Leave this kingdom and its people to me. I shall take good care of them. Um, well, probably shouldn't take the Dark Warlock on his offer, unfortunately. Very well. In the end, it does not matter, because your life ends here. Uh, safety save. Whoa. Oh god. He's got fireballs. They're okay. We have dodged some of the fireballs. Is that the best you can do, Warlock? That was merely a sample of my power. You will come to see much more if you ever try to come close to Princess Daisy. I'm gonna rescue the princesses no matter what. Rescue the princesses. That is what it always comes down to. But why must she be rescued? Why can't she be allowed to choose for herself? Why must you choose for her? The heck are you talking about? The time for talk is at an end. I will summon my servants to deal with you. No, no, servants. Skeletons. Not these guys. I've only got 12 arrows. So yeah, actually, even with that secret and getting the sword right away... Still seems to take quite a bit to actually take these guys out. I guess we can sword them, actually. Well, almost sorted them. Oh, last one too. Let's see if we can. Ah! Stop whirling with the blades. There we go. Alright, David's just like, well, please stop following me. Can Milton help us out one more time? Milton! Thank you. Okay. Should be. Time to, well, maybe not yet. Ah, all our friends are here. In the room with the potted plants. Ordinary potted plants and small ceramic pots. Which I must check thoroughly for gems. Oh. Oh. I wasn't expecting this to be walkable. That's kind of supposed to be the walls. Is it... Is it the case here? Yeah. I think they probably meant to use fake... or not use fakes there. Okay, well... We've got two princesses, one paladin, and one... wizard, and one invisible wall. Let's... ignore that. Alex, what do you got? Why didst thou hit me with a table, Squire Benjamin? It is Pen, damn you. Papoy, you say? Oh, what a truly odd name, tis. Pen, Pen, Pen. Glen, a noble name, tis true. But you do not wear it well. E N N. Dylan, I can hear thy fine. Thou dost not need to shout. Chaz, what a unique name. All right, that's Alex. He's just kind of along for the ride more than anything. How are our princesses doing? Hey, sword boy, how you doing? My name is Pen. This seems to be a recurring theme. Pen, Pen, whatever. My sister's in big trouble, so hurry up and get these blasted doors open. Uh, every single, yes, it's the mid-90s, and every ZZ tier only knows RPGs on the Super Nintendo. That's... That's all they got. Their sole form of entertainment. And Clax. Oh, hello again. Daisy should be behind these doors, but we need to get them open. Yeah, I guess that's all on Milton. 
Ah, I see you've made it. You're just in time. Midnight is only a few minutes away. A wedding ritual is, occup is occurring behind these doors. You must stop the ritual before Daisy and Damon can be bound, body and soul. Whoa there, pal. What's the rush? Can't she just file for a divorce? Wax you over the head with his staff. This is a magic wedding, Ninny. And don't forget that lots and lots of evil magic is going to be involved as well. Daisy is probably going to be infused with a demon spirit and be turned evil if you don't hurry. Okay, okay. So how am I supposed to get past these doors? These doors are sealed with powerful magic, far too powerful for me to break. We must use the legendary sword Darkbane if we are to have any hope of stopping the ritual. Stand on the red fake. Ah, I see. I just stumbled into the fake a little early. Milton, get out of the way! <laughs> a burst of energy from Darkvane turns the imposing doors into so much slag. Heck yeah. Milton, buddy. You should have moved a little earlier, I think. Alright. Now, with our coolest of swords, can we fight Damon? Ah, the wedding, of course. So do you, Damon. Take this woman to be your lawfully wedded bride, to have and to hold, through sickness or in health, till death do you part. I do. And you, Daisy. Take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband. What do you think, God boy? If there's anyone who feels that these two should not be wed, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. I do. Freeze. All right, everybody kiss the floor. Um, uh, hello. Please don't move. I don't want to hurt. Anyone, please? Do not move, creatures of the abyss! What? You, how dare you! I'm here to save the princess. Fool, I won't let you touch her. Why not? You've lost. Just hand her over and I promise I won't kill you. Much. Never. I love her. Yeah, right. I'm a fried salmon. You remember the love letter which you read earlier? Could it possibly be a letter from Princess Daisy to Damon? No, that can't be. A royal princess and an evil warlock? In love? We are given the option of whether to attack Damon or let him talk. I mean, you can probably tell where this is going. Let him speak. You love her? Kidnapping her and her sisters doesn't seem like a very good way of showing it. I didn't kidnap anyone. She came here of her own free will. I only locked her sisters away because they attacked my castle. Here's says Daisy. Is this true? Yes, of course it's true, nosy little adventurer. Why couldn't you have left the two of us alone? You love Damon? With all my heart. That's why I ran away with him. But he's a demon. You're a human. He's a warlock. You're a princess. It would never work out. Labels, labels. Why can't we just accept each other for what we are? But if we are constantly given prompts to just be like, you know what, no, we're just going to stab Damon and be on our way. But sure enough, the princess loves the evil warlock. But, but, why don't you just tell the king? You said it yourself. He's a warlock, I'm a princess. Daddy would never understand. He says I have to marry a prince and continue the royal ascension or something like that. Don't listen to her. Who the heck are you? I'm on your side. Listen, Princess Daisy isn't her rightful mind. She's been possessed by a demon spirit. You have to kill Damon. Kill Damon. What? I don't know who this guy is, but don't listen to him. He's lying. She doesn't know what she's saying. I don't understand. What is everyone saying? I wish the dialogue wasn't so fast. Don't just stand there. Kill Damon and save us all. Don't be an idiot. If you harm a hair on him, I'll never forgive you. You must kill Damon. This jerk. No, I don't know who you are, but I will not listen to your lies. I'm going to do the right thing first. What? You fool. Listen to me. You're right. What was I thinking? No, I only listen to my heart. Well, that's a relief. 
Perhaps I misjudged you, adventurer. Perhaps you really do know what it means to be a hero. Well, I'm glad we were able to settle all this without any violence. Yeah, I guess mass destruction isn't always the answer after all. You mean we don't get a big final battle after all? Phooey. I must admit, that was a bit anticlimactic. That is what you think, fool. If that truly is the case, you will all die. And the cross inverts. I have a very bad feeling about this. Looks like we're going to have that final battle after all. I thought would have spared your life if only you had done me one last favor by removing the last obstacle by supreme domination of this land. Instead, you chose to side with this warlock. No matter, I will kill him myself, and then I will take care of you next. Be gone, demon. In the name of this all is holy, I cast you away. What a bet. Anyone else want to play hero? My goodness. All right, Alex. You give it a shot. Well... You tried. Oh no, there's a bug crawling across my monitor. It's a tiny bug, don't worry. There's, oh, there it goes. Anyway, we kind of really screwed all this up. We would have been better off if we just never showed up. At least Damon here is like putting in some effort. Yeah, Damon don't care. Take this. Damon? Damon, can you hear me? Well, anyway, we gotta do something about this. The audience here, everybody else who's just attending the way is just like, oh boy. What a show. Let's kick some puffy red demon butt. Okay, let's do it. This is all my fault, all of it. I have to sort out this mess myself. You don't stand a chance alone. I've got the Darkbane sword. Alright, Pen. Good luck. Your screams of pain will give me the strength that only the terror of heroes can. In your dreams, you overgrown toad. Alright, so the Darkbane, glowing with righteous fire. You attack the evil demon for the sake of all who live. It seems like there's something missing there. I wonder if there's like a, an accidentally common, commented out line. Okay, now we, we get this passage instead. And wish us luck, because this battle is dreadful. Yeah, yeah, let's uh... You know what to do. Light of truth. Start twirling. I am just going to hold right. Fingers crossed. You can just enjoy these flashy effects. This cool demon with his upside down cross shirt. Uh oh. Missing is bad. Well, that's one way for health to get restored awkwardly. Rarely good, and honestly, this is no exception, even if the presentation is top notch. Like, look at this. This is fantastic to look at, but I am just holding down this button. Also, similar to the enemies, you also have no idea how much health you have. You just. It restores, but you have no idea how often. I would have loved if that little heart was like a number of how many times that bar was gonna refill, even if it was just for me. I got hit with a crit. Oh, well, I died. I think there was no input on that. Let's try holding to the right again. Mm. Missing is bad. This one is very RNG heavy, unfortunately. Well, we're even right now, at least. Okay, the demon, you know what? The demon misses, I'll take that. This way we don't have to 
to restart from the very, very beginning. There we go. I think we won. Yeah, like, Megazoo at least had counters and things, and health bars that weren't made out of breakable walls. There were quite a few advantages there. It's easy to eat, just... It's like... Uh, it's... It's like pro wrestling RPG. It's, it's trying to look like it. Anyway, I think we got them. Hopefully those bullets don't kill me, because there's still some bullets heading to my seemingly empty health bar. Oh, Milton's here. Where were you when the big showdown was going on? You guys look like you can take care of yourselves. Besides, I'm just a humble scholar. I wouldn't have been much help anyway in a fight. Well, at least it's over now. Or perhaps not. Yeah, did you think I could be destroyed so easily? Uh, actually, yes. You will perish for your stupidity. Prepare to feel my, my true power. Can we help now? No, it's too dangerous. Oh, who am I kidding? Come on, the more the merrier. Alright, demon. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. Now, if you thought the presentation here was good... I love this Final Fantasy slug monster monstrosity. The true form is Barney. I'm out of here. No, it's not Barney. Thank God. Who the heck is Barney? No, you idiot. My name is Fingerge, Spawn of the Abyss. Never heard of you. Well, you have now. That's got to be the most pathetic name I've ever heard. Silence. I shall kill you all. Oh dear, this doesn't look at all good. Fear not, fair maiden. I shall defend thee from this dread horror. Forward, my loyal squire, let us tally forth. Shut up and fight. That goes for you too, you overbearing pile of gelatinous goop. Okay, we did our light of truth. But, at least this one, though, the animation is just wild. There's just, like, goop coming out of the pipe and a smokestack on this villain. I don't know what the red parts are. There's a lot going on. Lily thankfully casts heal. But again, there's no real input here. But, as I was saying in the first part of this, you don't actually have to rescue these princesses. I don't think you can actually win this fight if you don't, but they- because obviously they will not be here, but... Rose and Lily are entirely optional to save. You can just get that sword and cut down the energy barrier and go. Just good luck with these fights is the thing. It's just something to look at. You stumble in terror. Maybe you can win if you just save Lily, because she seems to know how to heal. Rose is just yelling. is messing up. Oh, there we go. We did it. I held right correctly. No, this cannot be. I cannot be defeated by the likes of you. But you have a dollar. Ooh, I do not perish by the blade. You may have won this contest, but I still have enough power to kill you all. 
Please press B twice to reset the music. You got it. That's a horrible mess on the board here. We have made another fine mess. Also, nobody is stopping. So now you can actually, like, pay attention to these animations instead of looking at the health bar and being like, oh god, I hope this is it. It's great. I love it. There we go. Now we're victorious. Of this wonderful art. Which actually, character style looks a bit like the Rygar games. Continue to resist me. Fine, I shall strip the flesh from you, suck the marrow from your bones, and grind your organs into powder. My brilliant light flashed from the Darkbane sword, consuming the evil demon with his brilliance. Life of size, the dark vein blade has been replaced by a shaft of pure glowing light. And you'll have to drive the dark vein through the demon. You must seal it again with the sword's power. The light? No, not again. Goodness. With a valiant thrust, you drive the glowing blade of the dark vein sword into the body of the evil demon. Almost instantly, the creature begins to warp and distort, its form becoming mercurial and indistinct. Finally, with a slurping sound, the demon is sucked right into the sword, which falls to the ground, too hot for you to hold on to. Suddenly, the ground begins to shake around you. Quickly! This place is coming down! We'll have to get out of here ASAP! Well, don't just stand there. Let's get out of here! Come on, hurry, or we'll be crushed! If you're not fair, princess, I shall. Alex is hit by a stray piece of falling masonry and gently topples over. You are tempted to leave him there, but instead grab him and make a run for it. My castle. You can sue him later. Come on, let's get out of here. The end. Walk off into the sunset, your thoughts turning to events which happened. The king was extremely grateful to you for helping to sort out the whole misunderstanding. Though he was a bit perturbed when he learned his daughter was marrying Damon. He eventually took everything in stride. Damon and Daisy were also grateful to you. They invited you to their wedding, provided you didn't interrupt it again. Princess Rose is especially grateful to you for helping to save her sisters. Mention that you also saved her as well. She lifted a table and told you not to push your luck. So you wisely choose to shut up. Alex remained for a couple of days before departing again on another fool quest. He may be crazy, and he probably is insane, but he seems happy. Elton disappeared after the castle shall crumbled in dust, and no one knows where he went. And quite frankly, not many people wanted to know. He accepted your 10,000 gem reward from the king. In addition, he offered you one of his daughter's hands in marriage. Daisy hung Damon and said she was already engaged, and besides, she preferred older men. Lily, although younger than Daisy, still thought you were too young for her. She did say that since you and Rose were the same age, Rose blushed, then knocked you into the next room. You took the hint and declined. Later, the king asked if you wanted to stay in Pleiana as a nobleman or a knight. He was more than willing to grant you a title for what you had done. You thanked him, but told him that your life would mean nothing if he took away the word adventure from it. The king understood. Strangely, as an afterthought, you asked him not to tell Rose until you were gone. The next day, you left early in the morning to avoid saying goodbye. It took you until sunset to reach the kingdom's border. And so, as the sun sets on another peaceful day in the kingdom of Pleiana, you walk away, already in search of a certain something that means more to you than money or power. A certain something called adventure. Suddenly, a small rock hits you in the head. What? <laughs> you scream and turn. You scream and turn around to smash whoever threw it at you, only to see Princess Rose running towards you. Good job, Rose. Hey, wait up! Where do you think you're going? I'm sorry, Rose, but I have to go. My life means nothing if you take away the word event. I know that, silly. Where do you think you're going without me? What? I've been waiting for an excuse to leave this place for years. Sure, it's peaceful and all. That also means it's boring. You're my ticket out of here. So this has nothing to do with me personally. Huh? Yeah, nothing whatsoever. So why don't you leave with Alex? Uh, well, well, for one thing, he's stark raving mad. Uh huh. It's the truth. So you wouldn't miss me if I went away? Of, of course not. Well, you've got one heck of an ego. Okay then, let's go. 
This is just good sense. Two of us out there seeing a better chance than just one. It's a rough world. Right, just good sense. And purely platonic. Yeah, and don't forget that. Of course not. And so you and Princess Rose set off in search of the certain something, which means more to you than money or power. That certain something called... Cheese? Milton? Game over. Press escape. What a game. What an adventure. What a lengthy song. Oh, my ears. That's Warlock Domain. And it's a fantastic game. And apparently it even has some anti-cheat. There's quite a bit to this game. Like, just what we saw was pretty significant. I mean, we went on for two and a half hours, so I want to make this other stuff pretty brief. But, like I said, you don't have to save anybody. And also, you can kill everybody. This is like the original Undertale, I guess. Where is, where's the princess here? It's kind of wild. Like, I get the optional princess saving. That adds some variety to the game, and if you can't solve certain puzzles, it means you can still get to the ends, and maybe or maybe not be able to beat it, depending on what you do, but... Let's see. Guardians, the tower, come on. Ah, well, actually, we can... See, uh, some of these wishes do also, because there's all this. Okay. You can... Just leave the sword, it won't let you, you won't be able to progress. You do need it to get through that force field, so if you want to be, if you want to not unseal the ancient evil, unfortunately that's not an option. Okay, so there's the D1 ending, where you just wish that Damon is dead. Oh, there's so many of these. Let's actually just, this is just going to be the easiest way to do it. Actually, I did make a save there for a reason, didn't I? Yeah. The cool sword save. Remove sword. Summon demon. Alright, demon dead. Step through the portal. It's a very cool game. You appear suddenly in front of the castle Bayana throne room, right in front of the king. Ah, it's Pen the Adventurer, I believe. So how goes your quest to rescue my daughters? Well, I got one. There's Rose. And like, even these endings are dynamic based on which princesses you saved. Sorry, Your Majesty, but I was unable to rescue her. But the evil warlock Damon is dead. Your soldier should be able to rescue Princess Daisy now without fear of his wraith. His wraith? Well, his wrath. Very well, I shall send the royal guards out immediately. 3,000 gems for each daughter you saved, and 1,000 gems for killing the warlock. Not bad for a day's work. Go on your way. Job well done. Unbeknownst to you, the demon you released had already possessed Princess Daisy. She will assassinate her father and assume the throne as supreme ruler. Then it will wage war against its unprepared neighbors, and a new empire of evil will arise under the, em the new Dark Queen. But you are blissfully unaware of all of this as you set out with your reward. Good job, Pen. No, not the other. What else we got? What other great wishes can we make here? There we go. Uh, we can just kind of pivot to world domination ourselves. The demon is surprised. Okay. Now all men will bow before us. And you'll note that this is like the same board every time. Strangely, you don't feel like world ruler. Two villagers appear on the road ahead and run up to you with a determined look. Boy, hey you! You're the new world ruler then? What, who, me? I guess. Hold your tongue, Palliner, for you are in the presence of... Yeah, yeah, whatever. We've got some business to talk to you about. 
villagers grab you, and with rough hands born of hard labor, tie you up and drag you to the town square, where hundreds of similar men and women discuss their displeasures with their position in life. The fact that the crops are failing, the fact that taxes are so high, the lack of indoor plumbing, and the many other problems of life. This discussion consists mostly of knives, tar, feather, and burning torches. You've become world ruler, but you've forgotten one of the most basic rules of life. People are never happy to see the guy in charge. The commitment to these. She had the princesses, we saw that, we saw the fish. I wish I was dead. Um, okay. It is done. And so it is. Game over. Push him back into the pit. That is not possible, adventurer. Though it was a valence attempt. However, you forget that I am not bound to grant your wish if it displeases me. But since you amuse me, I will not crush you like a bug for this unbelievable act of insolence. Okay. Well, billion wishes. You can't wish for more wishes. Okay. I wish everybody could just get along. I'm a demon, you fool. I don't do world peace. Think of another wish. Uh, life, the universe, and everything? The answer to life, the universe, and everything is... 42? No, you fool. And just for that, I'm not going to tell you. Alright, and finally, I wish to be a god. That's a little out of my league. Can you try something a little less megalomaniacal? Okay. So I guess they're not all animated, but quite a good number. Quite a bit of variety in this one. Demon ending, library... Also, again, good detail. There's the Royal Marriage Customs book, for good reason. See our armory, dungeons. Okay, yeah, so Rose here. You can just shoot her. And then she's dead. She's dead. You killed her. You were supposed to rescue her, dummy. If I were you, I want to show my face with Hyanna again. Let's see, we fought Skeletor in the first video. Uh -oh. This stuff is also dynamic, I think. Oh no, I thought you could kill Alex. Maybe you can't kill Alex. Lucky him. Towers. Magnetic chaos. So yeah, you can just be like, go along with the, the story as stated. And fight Damon as well, of course. I mean, I could show you that, but I think you know what to expect. There's also a corrupt board. Oh crap, a corrupted file. This, here's our bad ending. Is she dead? Oh no, she's just swooned. Of course she's dead, you imbecile. No one lives after losing that much blood, as you might not be surprised to hear. Uh, Lily kinda... not Lily. Daisy kinda just sacrifices herself to try and save Damon. This isn't fair. This is ZZT, not Final Fantasy. Main characters aren't supposed to die, just the player. Huh? Oh well, it doesn't matter anymore. And then of course, oh yeah, by the way, I killed your sister. And even Rose can't bring herself to do it. Does she... She avenges him? But you don't fight her. I mean, do you? I don't remember you fighting her. Anyways, there's a lot of dead princesses if you're not careful. Just watch who you shoot. You do fight her. Why did I attack Damon? Why didn't I realize that he and Daisy truly loved each other? And then again, all this stuff is dynamic because, of course, you might not have Rose here. She might be dead, or she might just still be in jail. Lily, Lily forgives us, at least. Well, no, then she actually says, I can never really forgive you for what you did. But I realized that you were only doing what you thought was the right thing. But now they're together in the afterlife. 
Still, if I were you, I'd leave the kingdom ASAP before the king learns what happened here. There's quite a lot. So ends your adventure. This is a castle shadow causes you to become disillusioned with adventuring for a time. For a time, you contemplate settling down on another profession. Then one day, you come across Milton, the traveling scholar in a tavern. Seeing your downcast features, he immediately realizes you are still feeling guilty about what happened. Milton tells you that being a hero isn't about slaying evil or rescuing princesses. His words are reminiscent of the conversation you had with Damon, although that was under very different circumstances. The only way for you to make up for what happened is to try and make sure others don't make the same mistake and to prevent such tragedies from ever happening again. The only way for you to do that is to be an adventurer. And so it is with a heavy heart, but hope for the future is that you embark once again into the world. Perhaps a little wiser, perhaps a little more experienced, but still an adventurer. And you can also just become a fugitive because, whoops, you just killed all the princesses. Don't do that. Yeah, uh, I mean, it is pretty dark if you don't get the, the good ending, but... It's not too difficult to get. What is it? You need... To save Rose, you just need to get the skull and trade it to Fecklor. And the skull was... what puzzle was that? I think that might have just been the one where you spell out Daemon? But, like, you just do that and you get one, and then the other is just basically the same thing. Like, you give a chalice to Milton. Actually, the chalice is what was behind the Daemon thing. But, I mean, like, to get the jump from one of the other endings to the good ending is really not that much. I would imagine most people who play this and enjoy it would have gone out of their way to get the good ending. And if you're really wild, I guess you could try shooting all the princesses just to become the world-famous princess killer. And then sure enough, yep, there's the anti-cheat. Sorry, if you want to see this ending, I have no idea you want to, if this is a bad ending, you'll have to play through the game. Game over. This is, like, this is just a really good game. Especially for 1995, like, the writing in this is way better than, like, the vast majority of ZZT games, honestly. It's very good. The puzzle design is pretty solid. The RPG mechanics are less than great, but for 1995, that's kind of what you would expect an RPG battle. At this point, it's still like, wow, an RPG battle in ZCT, how exciting. Like, yeah, this is an early SDK game, like, this is just probably, like, the most polished title of the era, honestly. It just really holds up well. And it's one that I also, like, never really touched as a kid. So if you haven't played this one, then, well, sorry I just spoiled everything for you. But, you know, give it a month, forget everything. And then try it again. Try it for yourselves. It's pretty legit. Alright. That's gonna do it for tonight. We will be back again on Sunday. With another wildcard stream of some unpreserved stuff. And then... Actually, shoot. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be streaming on next Friday, actually. Uh, well, you know, I will keep things updated. But the usual schedule is Sunday at noon, which that one will definitely happen, followed by Friday at 6, both those times Pacific, which I don't think is happening next week due to things. But after that, we'll get back to that stuff. All right. That is going to do it for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed this exciting 1995 adventure, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Later.